Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Luke Chris, and welcome back to another reaction. This time we're kind of going to something oddly familiar, but at the same time new. I am, of course, referring to Hell of a Boss Shorts. Now, really, I did not expect that to happen, and yes, chat, yes, comments, I know, I know, I'm kind of behind on the whole Hell of a Boss thing, and a bit behind on Hasman Hotel, too, depending on when this video comes out. I know, I know I'm behind on those, and I swear I'm getting to them, I swear on the name of Charlie Morningstar, I am getting to them, but that is for another time. Right now, we're going to be focusing on this new short titled Hell's Bells. Very curious. <gasps> Millie! Oh, yes! Best way to start an episode. Best way to start an episode of Hell of a Boss. You're very excited for something. I mean, we're all excited to see you, but you're Millie. Why are you excited? Raph. Oh, that Millie, was adorable. Millie. Oh, get off oh. Of me. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Sally Mae! Oh. <laughs> finally made it out! After I asked you like a billion times. Lucky for you, a billion and one was the sweet spot to visit this trash heap. You ain't even been here before. Come on. I got the whole day planned out. Wow. I bet you do. I bet you do. Oh, yes. Character development, folks. Character development. I love it. Okay, so we get to see Sally Mae, who we haven't seen since, I think, like the fourth episode, maybe fifth, of season one. You know, where we go to Wrath and we see the whole uh, Harvest Moon festival thing. We haven't seen her since then. And the only thing that I know about her, other than what you in the comments have told me about her, is that she apparently has a hell of a body count. That, in her words, doesn't matter, doesn't count if you can't find the bodies. So, that's basically all we know is that she is a glorified killer. Possibly more so than Millie? But that's up for debate. But I am so excited to see where this goes. A bit of character development. Not just for Millie to see how she interacts with her sister, but with her sister as well. I love it when we can pull characters, in, even side characters, and because that just helps the development of our other characters. And I know, I know that was more fanboying explanation than anything else. So let's try that again. So, I personally love when animations can bring in characters that are either main, side, or just these one-off characters. I love when they bring them in because a lot of the times, it helps develop one of the main characters. Through that interaction, we see how they grow, how they develop. We get a bit of more insight into their, uh, their thought process, their emotional processes, their backstory, basically. We see more of that. And that is just always so fascinating for me personally to see because it makes the story so much richer when you can actually invest in characters. And the more you learn about them, the more you invest in them. So I am very happy to see this. Also, I see you, Loopty and Goopty. Not sure if the Goopty is the other guy's name. Don't really care because screw them, they're in hell. But that billboard injured. Good. Why is that good? There, there needs to be, um, I was in marketing here, guys. There needs to be a bit more of a punch as to why being injured is good. Wow, the whole day. You ain't gotta run off with your princess to ask some earth fella? Nah, business has been slow lately. So, oh. said they got it covered. Gotcha. Damn, main aspect. Covered how? Where are we starting? Oh, well, we'll uh start with the day uh, spa and some shopping. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now, but you smell like hog ass. I do not. Probably <laughs> babes regular. Oh, oh wait, no, no. Yep, you're right. That's that is definitely hog ass. Come on. Oh wow. Gotta get that countryism in there. Game fucking hog. Of course you need the yeehaw. Why not the yeehaw? Soaking mud here. Well, I mean. Special mud. How? That's what this always really got me to. How is it special mud? How? 
No. No. Work it, girl! Oh, definitely not going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh god! Or Satan! Oh wow, Wally! 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 I'm so sorry, buddy! Wally! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh, no. No. Yeah, buddy. Um. He dead. Oh. Or. Ah. Or wishing he dead. He's either dead or wishing he's dead. Yikes. Holy cow. You'd enjoy yourself. We yeah. all enjoyed ourselves, this Millie. Ain't so bad. Ain't so bad. It's awesome. Uh huh. One day isn't even enough. There are so many more exciting things to show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> with so many exciting things here, it's no wonder you never make your way back home. <sighs> Shit oh. got slipped out. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. And oh, that. That, that said a lot. Okay, so as I said before earlier in this video, in this video, the only time we saw Sally Mae was in episode whatever with Harvest with the Harvest Moon Festival and Wrath. That is the only time we ever have seen Sally Mae. And from what little interaction we got, the most we ever saw was that they definitely had some sibling comp competitiveness to them. We don't know how far that went. We don't know much of the dynamics between the two. That's all we got. Just some sibling banter. And granted, the sibling banter was great. I loved it. It was great for what little amount there was. But this, this scene right here and the bits before really drive home a bit more about the relationship between Sally Mae and Millie. And it is scrumdiddlyumptious. So what we see so far is that there is actual sibling love between these two. It's not just competitiveness. It's not just whatever the heck kind of sibling rivalry you can think of. Rivalry. There is legitimate affection from both sides of this relationship. And we see that Sally Mae is actually feeling a bit sad and has been missing Millie more than she lets on. Granted the fact I'm pretty sure anyone would have left Wrath with that perfect little princess Moxie. But we see now that it has been affecting Sally Mae. I will go a bit more into this at the end of the video because as much as I want to fanboy about this and, and just, you know, theorize and everything else, I, <laughs> I have to watch. Shit, that slipped out. What? You yeah. Have the wrath ring, all that dirt, mm -hmm. rust, and boring nothingness. Hey, that's some good rust and boring nothingness. Down there, why visit that, right? I was there Ooh. at the last Harvest Moon Festival. I mean, sure, yeah. your fancy job. You showed up with that blue-blooded bird, your dick-swinging boss, and that cupcake husband of yours, and... I, I feel like you like that cupcake. I feel like you like that really cupcake. I how I'd fit into this shiny new life you built. Oh... Oh, come on, Sally, man. You, she loves you. Cal. Oh. I'm sorry. Things get real crazy and busy over here. And you think things didn't get busier for me back home when you decided to scooch? I've Ooh. basically been running the place solo. Oh. Oh. Honestly, Mills, today was great. Better than great. It reminded me of how we used to be like this damn near every day before you left. I hate to think that it'll Beautiful. be longer before again. Yeah. Both emotionally and just the artwork was beautiful there. Mm. Love it! Always ruined my life for my sister, Sally Mae. Oh, 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 I'm sorry oh. I haven't been back home as much as I'd like. I'll try harder. But, you know, the boys are older now. 
Ma and Daddy got plenty of extra hands at the ranch. Mm-hmm. Come visit more often too. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like that. Do it. I want to see you more here. Uh, <laughs> oh, of course. Uh, of course. Yes. <gasps> it's hell. It's hell. Oh my gosh, that was too. That was a door. Oh! Love it. Mox, mo Again, this is hell. This is hell. Oh, that was just beautiful in so many ways. Oh my gosh, that was such a good short. I absolutely freaking loved it. Okay, so here's the thing. With shorts, they are very hard to do. Well, I say very hard, but then again, you're, I have very little experience with either voice acting in those or even writing those. But just from a storytelling perspective, shorts can be very difficult, at least in my eyes, they can be very difficult. You only have so much time to get across the emotions, the artwork, just everything that you want. You're, you're, giving, you're giving so little time to make these, these connections and develop them, and this did it so wonderfully. We start off with excitement. We start off with them seeing each other again with a character that I really wanted to know more about. <laughs> but we see how they have fun. We see them go through the motions. We see all of that development. Loud, exciting, boisterous, fun, all of that. And that's great. Really, it's great. I loved all that. The artwork and animation was great here. The music was superb, especially in certain areas where I will go over here in a few moments. But everything about this was just so good. But, but, my favorite parts of this were at the very end where we see the, the sisterly bond between Millie and Sally Mae. That was just gold right there. I loved it. So we go from all the excitement, bright lights of the city to more melancholic. And the music there just really drove it in what was happening. It was so good. So many things happened there. So we're going to take this step by step. So, as we see, Sally Mae and Millie do have a, or did, have a really close relationship. They spent every day together. They had fun together. They fought together. They killed together. Again, it's hell. What do you expect? But we also see how this this changed when Millie found and married Moxie. And again, I'm pretty sure Sally Mae does like Moxie. Uh, you don't call someone a cupcake with that kind of face and not kind of like the guy or girl. But we see that after Millie married Moxie and moved away, we get a little glimpse of how hard it became for Sally Mae. She picked up slack, she had to do more work. She didn't have that best friend with her to just, you know, help de-stress and have fun with. That was basically gone. And be Millie, because of the bright lights of the city, because of the craziness of work and everything else, she was not able to go to Wrath more often to visit her sister. And we see that she did in fact miss her. We see some, some bits of resentment. We see some bits of longing. And we see that they really do want to re-establish that connection and just be great sisters. And that is just so freaking awesome. That was such good development. Because it gives us more, more idea of how of who Millie is as a character. If she can inspire such feelings within a within Sally Mae as her sister. And that is just great. And then of course, near the end, when they're finally done with their, their fight, their sisterly fights with all the blood, gore, and everything else, we see them sit down calmly just enjoying watching a movie together until who should show up but the ever lovely cupcake moxie <laughs> and that was so good of a scene i loved it we see him come in we see him ready to say hi millie you know hug kiss all that schmooze but the second he sees that sally may is there the second he understands what is happening he just quietly retreats into his room 
lets the sisters be sisters. Oh, that was so good. Oh, and again, the artwork was so great. Not just, not just the artwork of the character in the world, but the actual artwork in the show itself with the picture of Millie and Moxie's wedding. Oh, that was so cute. I loved it. Again, honestly, I really didn't know how this short was going to go. I knew that I was going to like it. I knew that it was going to be fun. I didn't expect the big character development there. I really didn't. And that just makes me curious about what other shorts there are going to be. If there are other shorts, are they going to pick up? Like, are there going to be interconnecting shorts? Are there going to just be single one-shot shorts with certain characters? If so, I would love to see more of those. See a bit, like maybe a flashback of Moxie with his mom. Uh see all that other stuff just so good again love this from start to finish everything about it was good can't really find anything to nitpick about right here guys can't really do that then again i'm riding the hell of a boss high here anyways if you guys enjoyed the video let me know in the comments below if you did not enjoy the video still let me know in the comments below i want to hear your thoughts on all of this and you know maybe if you enjoyed everything Leave a like, maybe subscribe, maybe share with other people. I don't know. Yeah, that could be nice, could be fun, could be something great. I don't know. This is Lucrist, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.